Okay, in this quick video, we're going to show you how you can view the revenue of your solar system using the Solar Edge app. So I want to thank um, Andy, one of the subscribers, and the other gentleman. I can't remember your name, you had a red uh, Tesla Model S and we spoke at the EV Festival uh, the last weekend uh, and you guys made me aware that in the Soda Edge app you can actually see the revenue, uh, you know, the, the fit uh, revenue uh, from your solar system in the Solar Edge app both obviously on uh, your phone as well as in the web interface and I don't have that. Um, so you guys mentioned that you just basically set it up in the admin um, section. So I had a little look on the Solar Edge website and there's a quite a lengthy set of documents about what you can do um, in the admin function, such as you know, configuring the API and all this sort of stuff. And then this bit about um, the revenue. So you can have that for kind of fixed rate um, earnings or variable earnings or agile earnings, whatever you want to call it. So I just thought I'd do a real quick video to show you how you set that up. So the first thing you need to have is the ability to have admin access. So you typically have that if you um, own your solar system. So if you, someone who's renting, you have Solar Edge, it's very unlikely you have admin access. Um, but if you own the system, it's fully paid for, then you know, hopefully your installer has given you kind of full customer ownership. So you should have the admin function. If you haven't been given that, and you don't want to follow up with your installer, if you speak to Solar Edge um, and prove to them that you own your system, they will probably take care of that for you. So right now, if I look on my app, you can see that when I log in, um, all I can see is the amount of energy that I generated today, the energy for the month, and the lifetime energy. And when we log into the app, it's exactly the same thing as well. So what we're gonna do is we will go into the admin section and uh, make a couple of changes. So you can set up a site image, not gonna bother with that um, right now. Some information about site access, so you can add it so people can publicly get access to your system, some kiosk stuff. Uh, again, we're not really interested in this stuff. I know some people are interested in the API, we don't wanna cover that today. This is also where you'd set up the um, API as well. And this is what we're interested in, the revenue. So we want to set up the revenue calculations. So as mentioned, we've got the flat rate and the, the time rate, etc. I'm just going to go with a flat rate. Now, what I'm going to try and do, first of all, is put in um, when I had the system installed, so back last year, I think it's 24th of August, when the system was installed. So that's kind of how far back the data goes, which is where we want to start from. And then I'm going to put in the generation feed-in tariff amount. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and have two rates, one for the generation, and then I get also an export for half of what I generated. So um, I'd like to have them separately just for, for clarity. Um, but we'll we go through this process and see how it works. So 24th of August is when the system was commissioned. So that's when we can have valid data from. And for the rate, we will put that in, which is 0 0.3 something, 0 0.0393. So that's how much I get for every kilowatt I generate. Um, so the currency for me, GBP. Okay, so that's all good. And then we will add another rate. Again, this rate is for the export tariff. So again, over here in the UK, I get paid the smaller amount for 100% of what I generate, and then a larger amount for 50% of what I generate. So I'm gonna basically take that number and halve it and apply it to all of my generation. So that kind of should kind of work out right. So again, back to the 24th of August and I get it's like 0.5 pence or something, um, so half of that is 0.262. Ah, uh, we see how some 
Yeah, sorry about that. The um, camera stopped recording, but I also had this problem where um, it's not letting me add that rate. So I don't know why it's not letting me do in duplicates. So let's just cancel that. And what we do is we can add those two numbers together. So we change that 0 0.0393. Uh, add the other one, so 655, five. let's not let's do that either. Okay, so we just fully remove that and just have a single a single rate of 0 0.0655. So my last um, feed-in tariff um, payment added all up, it's coming around 380 something, I think. So it's obviously been a little bit longer than that, so I'm hoping that this should show about 400 and something pounds if it's working correctly. So that's that. So let's save that rate and then see how the data is interpreted. Loading, Renew. right? Okay, so that looks like it's in there. Let's go back to the dashboard. Yes, look at that. Four hundred seventy-seven pounds and forty-five pence. That seems about right, actually, because we're getting towards the end of that quarter. Oh, I was just waiting for the yeah. So about halfway through the quarter, aren't we? So yeah, that does that makes sense. Good stuff. And uh, I think it's working on the app as well. So thanks, guys. That's really handy to you know be able to see that in real time kind of how you know, your solar generation is generating you some money uh, from the feed-in tariff stuff. Obviously, if you're not on the feed-in tariff and you're doing export on stuff, um, there may be some stuff you can do in there as well with that, um, you know, the other rate options you can do for revenue. This isn't just for those flat fees, but really simple and easy and took you know, just a few minutes. So I thought I'd just do this quick video to share as you know, uh, those guys at the EV Festival were so uh, helpful in showing me. So it's made, a, made me a happy man. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.